Many people have a vivid memory of where they were the morning of September 11th, 2001. I was a lieutenant on the Aurora Fire Department, assigned at our training academy, preparing to train our new recruits. I can still remember the shock I felt when I heard the news and witnessed the images of destruction from New York City, from the Pentagon, and from Shanksville, Pennsylvania. We lost family members, friends, colleagues, and fellow Americans. The impacts of that event reached far beyond a single day. Members of our military quickly deployed, myself included, in support of operations designed to bring those responsible to justice, protect our values and our way of life, and combat terrorism. First responders spent weeks and months conducting search, rescue, and recovery operations, risking their own health and safety in the performance of their duties. Communities took time to heal, to rebuild, and to reflect. It is a day that I will never forget, one that will forever be etched in our memories and in the consciousness of our country. The events of September 11, 2001 changed the way that we engage the world think about our security, and prepare for future threats. FEMA joined the newly created Department of Homeland Security and established programs to increase preparedness, enhance coordination, and provide funding to increase our readiness to future threats. We are better postured today than we have ever been to support communities before, during, and after disasters, and we will continue to grow that support. As we reflect on this event 20 years later, I hope that you will take the time to hear the personal stories from members of our FEMA community who were witness to that terrible day, who worked to rebuild, and those who served to defend our nation. We owe it to them, to those that we lost, and to all those who were affected to remember. I am proud to present their stories.